Yo guys, alright, it's been a few weeks since I gave an update, and it's mostly just been parts. So I figured once I actually got some work done, I haven't got much done, but once I actually got busy and made it look like I was doing something, I <laughs> posed up a video. I've just been kind of taking my time on this, haven't been really rushing or anything. Uh, just said, you know, trying to enjoy life as much as I can lately, so uh, anyway. So we got some stuff done here. We got uh, these cross braces put on. I got this brace cut. Um, I, for some reason, I'm just, I'm not getting, I wasn't getting very good penetration my welder to begin with, but I don't know, it, it's getting worse. So I'm pretty sure it's because my garage fucking sucks. And uh, yeah, I only have one outlet. And I just don't think it has the juice to push my welder. So uh, I'm not too worried about it right now. Uh, we've decided that we're going to uh, just go ahead and I'm going to get everything mocked up the best I can. And we're going to take it down to my buddy's shop. And then uh, we're just going to go ahead and fully weld all these brace bars in. Um, and even if I gotta spend a day, you know, trimming and cutting and getting things to fit perfectly or good enough, you know, whatever, um, then that's fine. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna do it that way. So I'm gonna take this thing down here in a few weeks, um, and we're gonna go ahead and tack, put new tacks on everything, and then I'm gonna grind down my old welds, my shitty tacks, and then we're gonna fully weld everything with the good welder. So uh, these tacks I have on here. Um, just temporary. We're gonna get everything retacked, and then I'm gonna grind all my tacks down so that they're not big and ugly and stupid. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and fully weld everything. So, and then after that, then maybe while we're there, he's got a nice plasma cutter. I was thinking after we get all of the bracing welded in, I'll probably go ahead and cut out the notch with the plasma, and then I'll bring it all home. That way I can make a good template for my notch. Um, and then we'll take this big ass sheet of quarter inch steel uh, down to his shop. And once again, plasma cut all those, uh, all those pieces out. And then I'll bring the pieces back home and then I'm gonna get them to fit nice and tight inside the frame. Cause I don't want anything to be in front of the frame. I want it all to be tucked inside the frame. So I wanna spend some time getting it all to fit right getting everything to slide into the frame nicely, um, you know, bevel my edges, get a good solid weld for uh, this notch because I'm not gonna do any of this. I'm never gonna back half this car. This is about as far as I'm ever gonna go. So I wanna make sure that everything's good and solid. Um, I just wanna do everything as good as I can. So uh, we're gonna be using a big welder to do this. So I'm not too worried about heat. Uh, with that welder, it's like a 250 welder, so plenty of heat to penetrate and get good welds on all this steel. My welder just is not doing it. No matter how hot I try to get the steel, it's just not sticking. I don't think my wire is big enough either, so I got my wire size maxed out. I think it's at 35, so I don't think I can put anything bigger. No, it's only a 32. I can't put anything bigger in that welder, I don't believe. So, anyway. Yep, that's where we're at. So either I'll post this video as a quick update or I'll just wait until we get all the, this shit down to the shop and maybe I'll just, you know, give you guys one good video. So uh, we'll see what happens. All right, uh, this is pretty much what we're gonna end with right here. Um, I had some scrap from the uh, tube I bent over there. Let me grab it real quick. And I tried to uh, salvage one of my elbows, but I ended up cutting it way too damn short. Speaking of too short, <laughs> but yeah, I ended up cutting it too short. So I'm not gonna try to. I'm not gonna try to bend another piece for this. That was just, hey, I got it, so I'll try it. But it didn't work out. So. Here we go, bracing up. Uh, none of this is welded. Uh, these are just held in there. That one's just kind of jammed up in there to where I want it. Um, so 
so that's going to come back out. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I, I might just wait. I might just wait. Uh, I'll probably just leave all this shit the way it is until we uh, go weld it in. So. All right, y'all. All right, guys, what's up? Man, it has been a long time since I've done a little update, uh, but I finally got something done, so I uh, thought I'd give an update on this. So we got all the frame structuring done back here. Um, all this, all these tubes are fully welded in now. I, I'm, I'm liking how it turned out. It turned out pretty well. I think it's, it's pretty goddamn rigid now. Like it's the whole th the whole frame moves as one back here um so we put this bar up through here connecting to two rails obviously this one connects these two together and then we tied it in right here into this to these crossbars here um that's that's probably not adding much strength right there but it's i don't know it probably did i'm sure it did it had to have uh so yeah, all that shit's welded, welded in all the way, um, and then I got this this crossbar welded in, and we welded it in right here as well on the top and bottom. Um, I didn't do a very good job of cleaning some of these areas, so the welds the welds are good, but they're just kind of sloppy, I guess you would say. They got a little uh, porosity in them, but shouldn't help, shouldn't matter shouldn't bother anything just they're still welded in there so um yeah everything looks pretty good i'm happy with it now uh i'm gonna start stripping this frame down getting all the suspension components off of it and the rear end out of it and all that crap and then we're gonna start cutting out this frame notch so uh since it's been a while since i've updated i'm just gonna go ahead and throw this video up and if anybody, if anybody's still paying attention or is curious about what's happening with the ride, yep, there we go. I've just been kind of putting money aside for the motor, and a uh, friend had a kid, so he hasn't hasn't had much time to help me out with the welding, and so we finally got something figured out and got it all welded up here. So I think things are looking good. We're starting to get some work done here. This kind of gave me some more motivation finally to work on the car. So now I'm going to start stripping her down and get all this uh, suspension off of here and hopefully we can get this notch done here and I don't know, hopefully a few weeks. My goal was to have this thing ready for powder coat by the end of the month, but uh, I think what my goal now is, is hopefully to have this thing still ready for powder coat by the end of the month, but at least to a point where we have everything welded in. Uh, the notch is included, and I can start cleaning it up so that maybe the beginning of December I can ship it out to powder coat. Um, I want to kind of clean it up a little bit, and we're going to go over some of the some of the uh, factory welds. And I think I'm going to go ahead and replace this uh, body mount over here. It's a little little thin, so. It'll probably be all right, but honestly, I mean, might as well. I'm here doing it. Might as well just replace it. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and replace that body mount. And uh, we'll kind of keep you updated on the progress here. Hopefully, it's not as slow as it's been. I, I got a little more motivation to keep working on it. So, all right, guys. Sometimes things just get
like a lamb, cause now I'm back with the camp. I'm calling similar to an ant, cause they call me. Oh, yeah. gonna want to tape that other piece back up there what you're gonna want to tape that back up